Um, and the third of our three uh, panelists is uh, Dr. Sarah Vicari, and I'll ask you, Sarah, to take over from here. Thank you. I have some slide too, so let me just share. Okay, here we are. So good morning, everyone, and thank you for inviting me again to share some reflection. Um, and today, particularly, let me wish you all a, a happy International Cooperative Day. Um, and I'm happy to share some insights about uh, how we can reveal better together in the spirit of uh, Owen. Um, so let me just uh, start about what uh, is uh, under everyone's eyes. So we all know that our planet uh, is facing challenges in terms of environmental, social, uh, economic crisis, um, and the situation has got worse uh, with the pandemic. Um, the uh, achievement in, by 2030 of the uh, Sustainable Development Goals now is becoming uh, more uh, difficult. And we, as an um, international cooperative movement, as an international cooperative family, we are called upon uh, rebuilding the society uh, together. And um, so cooperatives are identified as a possible answers to uh, many challenges. But uh, uh, I would like to make immediately a link uh, uh, with the conclusion of the fantastic um, uh, lecture of uh, Chris Williams. When at the conclusion, he said uh, that one of the most important legacy that we have from um, uh, uh, Robert Owen is that uh, is convinced that there are no barriers to our imagination to shape society, to change society. And this, in fact, I mean, uh, I think this, we can consider this as a main uh, legacy that we bring when uh, we have to think about how, it's not only uh, the fact of rebuilding, but how we want to rebuild, reimagine the society. So how brave we have to uh, identify how cooperatives can really contribute and can continue contributing to shaping society. And uh, this, I do agree, um, I uh, remember Liz a certain moment said that uh, there is uh, this understanding of cooperatives uh, more linked to uh, retailer sector and uh, perhaps making money. So there's too much focus on what cooperatives do. Uh, but uh, the key point about ident identity is on uh, who actually is the members, so who actually are uh, the person that are carrying out that uh, endeavor and how they are doing, uh, and most of all, why they are doing what they are doing. And I think this is so important because uh, in many countries in the world, there are still uh, many uh, misconceptions, misunderstanding of what a cooperative is, starting from confusion uh, with uh, perhaps uh, with a charity, an NGO, uh, an association, or a, a social enterprise. So what actually a cop is? And, um, and most of all, if we think about it, the leaders of the futures that will be our, our youngsters, we have to consider, and there are many uh, journals, uh, um, scientific publications that say that cooperatives disappear from textbooks. And this is, uh, uh, this is an issue. While uh, one of the advantages of the movement is really that we can learn from each other, and this is key if we want to foster innovation and we want to, you know, as a, uh, again, uh, thinking about in the spirit of Owen, so we're imagining society. Um, so just to share briefly our story for those uh, uh, who doesn't, um, I don't know how about us. So um, basically, around the world, .coop, uh, is a project uh, carried out in partnership with the International Cooperative Alliance. And uh, we started in 2019, and uh, we travel around the world. And our idea was exactly to catch this essence of cooperatives uh, around uh, worldwide in every sector. And, um, and catch documented the innovation. So at the end, uh, we managed to uh, document 15 cooperatives. There are 15 cooperative uh, video stories available. And our products are the result of a combination of participatory action research and video making. So where actually the cooperators are the key protagonists in telling and these stories and deciding how to tell their own story. And when we came back, of course, I mean, after being exposed to such fantastic stories, we could not uh, um, build our own collective. So now we are a collective of six people and we are continuing uh, doing this and working on these areas. Um, 
so our video stories, of course, are all available. They're open source. They're all available on YouTube. And uh, I encourage you, of course, to use them uh, in uh, any of your activities. But uh, what I would like to focus today is uh, what we learned during this trip uh, from the youngsters. Uh, they were, they, we had very inspirational uh, meetings with them. Um, let me start with uh, um, member, um, members of a school cop in Malaysia. So uh, students from between the age of 14 and 17, um, where they actually told us something very interesting that of course they don't know what they will be doing in life, uh, but uh, the fact that they've been exposed to cooperative values and principles since the early age will always be part of them. So they will be citizen inspired by those values. That I think if we want, again, if we link to the uh, Owen spirit, how to reimagine the society, we are first of all building, uh, uh, they are first of all uh, conscious citizens uh, beyond being cooperators. Um, and another very important insight comes from a young cooperator from uh, Brazil, um, from a remote uh, village in the forest. She had the opportunity to study until uh, university, so she graduated, and um, her father, mother, uh, so her parents and grandpas were members of the cooperative that is in the village. And so thanks to them, she managed to uh, go to the university. But very most interesting is what she said. She now wants, uh, and she just joined the cooperative because she wants to bring and give back what uh, the opportunity she had to the community and bring her knowledge. And I go now to the third, actually, key aspect, because this also was an insight that came from cooperators in Nepal. Uh, when they say that we, as a young members, uh, we are drivers of innovation. We have the IT skills, we have knowledge, we are, can be the protagonist of how to innovate and change our community. Um, another key aspect is about, uh, uh, comes from a young woman uh, from a Moroccan cooperative, where she told us that for her, being a cooperative was an opportunity to change her mindset but also of uh, her husband, of her parents. So it's really now she is experiencing this change in her life. And now she's herself uh, the change maker in our community for the other women. And finally, uh, another key insight that come from a young member from a worker uh, cooperative in uh, uh, California. When, she's, when he told us that uh, uh, being the cop for him uh, is really understanding that uh, there's no need to be a millionaire to be an entrepreneur. And uh, particularly that uh, it's not just being an entrepreneur, but being the cooperative means to have a say every day in the cop decision. So it's a completely different way of being an entrepreneur. Um, so just some food for thought. I mean, uh, uh, if we think about uh, these experiences, um, and if we again uh, make the link with the, what uh, Owen, uh, uh, the interest of Owen in a field work, uh, in, a, in a being exposed to others' uh, uh, um, uh, knowledge, practical knowledge, so how is important really to expose and support the pupils and students, even uh, um, adults actually, uh, to um, other experiences uh, and to feel that they can be uh, the change makers. So they can be the protagonist of reimagining a new society. And um, again, looking at also be inspired about what others uh, are doing. Um, and yes, of course, I mean, again, uh, we uh, put on the table our, our videos, because if you consider them as being inspirational learning material. Uh, also because to learn, we know that it's very important to be emotionally engaged, first of all. And uh, through these videos, it's like now with the pandemic, we learn how difficult it is to travel. Now it's more difficult than ever, but uh, this is an opportunity anyway to engage directly with the protagonist of collective stories uh, around the world and can be an opportunity to stimulate the imagination of students. So very happy of this collaboration that we uh, that started in May. Uh, I want to thank the Cops and Mutual Wales uh, for involving us in this fantastic uh, process. And uh, of course, we remain uh, uh, at your disposal to continue uh, the conversation. Thank you very much. Sarah, thank you very, very much for that. And it's um, really inspiring to see the kind of international perspective on this and the um, and the role of young people's voices in some of the 
um, developments that you were saying in particular, I think it will be interesting for the discussion we're, we're going to have in a moment. So thank you very much to our three speakers for bringing very different perspectives to the set of challenges. 